burrito? Does she have a burrito on her shirt? I need a burrito on my shirt. Anyway, wallpaper in the horde. Hi, I'm Zios Pantera. Welcome to Z Reviews. And um, where the other channel, Inner Fetish, is where I do all my IMs. And where you do IMs, you usually talk about Thai Audio products. Because here's a Thai Audio product that's not an IM. So this is Thai Audio's take on an open back planar headphone. Very similar in timing and spirit to the um, Moondrop Venus, which I just reviewed which was an open back planar from a IM manufacturer. The issue with this one is it's been here so much fucking longer. And the reason it didn't get a review in the last, I don't know, four months, it's because it sucked. Like, it was terrible. And I'm like, hey, Linsoul, this is terrible. And they're like, ah, oh, don't, just wait, hold, we're gonna fix the thing, the fix, we're fixing it, we're fixing it. So it's nice to know that companies after they send it to reviewers, actually listen to the product and go, oh, we fucked up. So what happened was I waited. These have probably been here for seven, six months, six, seven months. And it took them another two or three months, four months maybe. And then they sent me another set. Here's the original set. Here's the OG set. They sent me another set. And what they did was they changed the pads because that's what the fuck matters. Nothing. I don't think they change anything else as far as the tuning goes. Here are the stock pads. If you see a Thyodio Wraith with perforated pleather pads, um, don't. Don't put them on your head. Don't put them anywhere near your body. So they both came with sets of those. And then the new set came with completely solid pads, which are a vast improvement over the perforated pads but then it also comes with these like fully open uh felt pads like nice soft actually what do they call them? microfiber hold they're on the thing microfiber flannel ear pads meanwhile every picture of this unit on linsole shows it with the fucking perforated pads because they didn't bother taking pictures of them again and the, they haven't gotten quite to the what's in the box thing also i should mention the price you can't send headphones out that cost 550 dollars if they suck and I'm if you ever wanted to know how big a difference a pad makes this is the ideal example because I put them back on at both sets I swapped pads on each swapped amps on each I was like all right they're the same headphone pads make all the difference then I put the original pads back on I don't think I lasted 12 seconds is what she said um it just it's harsh like this makes it a brutal listening experience Luckily, the pads come off with just Velcro, which could be good or bad, because it's just like you stick it on and you, you peel it off, but sometimes this Velcro gets a little loose on this side. So I just peeled off the pads and slapped on the new ones, and it's just like, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Because I didn't want to have to shit on a $500 Thai Audio product that doesn't... I didn't want it to suck. And it's okay as long as you get these pads. We're going to have to talk about it's direct fucking competition being the Venus by Moondrop, which is another IM manufacturer that said, let's make a jig, jig I is Plato. Yeah. Um, different schools of thought though, in these, uh, <laughs> Moondrop fucking is compensating for something. Uh, hold on. I'll put these down. We've talked about it. If you haven't seen my video on the Venus, go watch the Venus. Those also didn't require a pad swap, but I was inspired to change pads to make them more comfortable. Um, these are probably some of the nicest built headphones. End of statement. Like abyss levels of like, like just, just the metal on the leather with the stitching and then the slider is like, it's, it's so good. And then all the screws are hex screws, like nothing here is a Phillips head. And then these will spin, they'll spin flat in either direction, which for some fucking reason headphones don't do. Why do most, like what, here, why do headphones, like this one has just a very little bit of turn, but at least it's both directions. Some headphones just only go one direction. I don't understand. Secret fans. Also, Fly Audio did not fall into the same problem as these. As you know, if you watch my review of the Venus, you know I complained heavily about where the 
3.5 millimeter came out of the bottom out of an extended block out of wires that were like really long i'm using not the stock cable on it but i also bought these right angle adapters so it's right angle to a, a little female and therefore i can fix that issue now someone was asking about it very recently like hey could you be, have you fixed it is it better and yes so the venus were not without flaw they were not flawless headphones I found that with better with different pads, they sounded bigger, better, open, more comfortable. And then you have to change the wire. And then this still has a elastic system. These are 600, by the way. Um, I will gladly state, however, we are not aiming even close to the same kind of sound shape or sound stage. Like these are trying to be huge fucking planars, and they're accomplishing that goal. Where these are trying to literally be abyss dianas. They're, that's what they're trying to be. They, they've look how thin the whole structure is. It's probably twice as thick as it is in an abyss, but that doesn't matter because we're just starting out. But we've got the wires inputting on an angle towards the rear. They're only 2.5 millimeter, which again I'm not a huge fan of 2.5 millimeter because I don't have that many wires that are that. But it makes everything a little bit smaller. We've got the stupid proprietary uh, pad system, which is Velcro, and I guess you could just buy Velcro, but like, look how nice the metal is. Mach this is all machined aluminum. Nothing here is stamped steel. Everything here is put on a, on a machine and turned. That's every, every fucking thing. And then it's like very nicely painted. Like, the finish on this is just spectacular. It's not so just listen to how smooth this is. You fucking can't. It makes no sound. And they're they got weight to them. They don't have this much weight. These Picking these up after holding these for a little while makes the fucking Venus feel like they're made out of stone. But they're not, like, light. or There's nothing about this that says, I'm cheap. We've got the full leather strap under a whole other leather strap, which got, like, the blocks behind it. You're not even going to see. So build quality-wise, these are, like, a, like, nearly a 10 out of 10. They're a little bit small. Again, I, I have a pretty big head and got a huge head and my ears aren't up there they're they're here this girl only has i think the the cat ears and not the normal ears there's a whole argument do cat girls have regular ears or where how do they wear headphones i guess it would just be ims for them but you, you pick them up and they're just like it's a it's a very tight snug three knuckle which is the same i think on all of the yeah all the pads not the worst but not like free and roomy. If these were like 10% bigger overall, I think they'd be more universally comfortable. They are, however, a 96 or 92 millimeter driver, where those are like 106. These are a 97 by 76, which is actually a pretty standard size in the world of headphones. And if we put them on, and I'm just, oh, I'm just, they just, they just fit. These are incredible incredibly comfortable like so it's some of the best pointed a headphone these are probably more comfortable than it from my wall all the zmf stuff no, no no you can feel the weight they they've got this clamp is just perfectly linear and the pads sort of crush just enough and the adjustments happen all on its own the only thing i'm hearing right now is the velcro sort of settling because i pulled them apart but once that velcro tightens you know you're good but, but they, they feel they feel like they're attached to my head, like physically, with pins. And now we're going to play something. Rage Against the Machine bomb track, I'm down. Immediately, number one on low gain. Listenable. They're easy to fucking drive. Ten is where you'd like your mother would like you to never listen louder than ten. And 18 is like, I am going to die! Yeah, yeah. Um, so wait, we've talked about the build. We talked about the wire for a second. Look at this wire. It's nice. It's a 4.4 Pentacon. Like all things should be. If you only have that, you're gonna have to buy an adapter um, to go like 3.5 or quarter inch. Uh, double, just cloth into a very small little split into L and R very clearly written indicators with red and green. I don't understand the red and green thing. That's a China thing. Chinese IM headphones and things have red and green. So the wire, and it's short too. It's like, it's perfect desk length. Don't stand up and walk with it. You're going to get fucked up. But it's almost like they're designed for portability. Although I don't see anyone taking 
open back planars to like the bus stop or a baseball game. So back on, let's talk about actual sound presentation. Oh God, they sit so nice. Evangelion. So with the stock pads, there was just nightmares that flew out of these headphones, just straight nightmares. It sounded like nasal and muddled and overly sharp and like you cannot imagine the terror that I felt when I like I brought brought them home, threw them on the burner rig. Can't wait my week. Can't wait to hear these new thigh audio rates. Ooh, and it, what a wraith is, if get me wrong, I think I'm doing this from memory, is Charlie Sheen. Tiger Blood, <laughs> crazy. There's a movie called The Wraith that starred Charlie Sheen. He was very young. But no, a wraith is like a screaming, or is that a, a wraith is a, is a screaming ghost? Or is a wraith the, the vengeful ghost? I forget what it is. Either way, someone will mention the comments. But it, it terrified me. It was like, oh, they named it properly. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's actually a Thyodio ghost that I'm burning in over there, which is basically based on an 1840s shore. We'll get to that. That's a dynamic. Um, I couldn't listen to them. I literally put them on and then immediately messaged Lynn Soul. I was like, well, is there something wrong with these? Did I get a bad pair? And they're like, no, 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 no. Don't worry. We're, we're fixing this. Everyone's complaining about the thing. We're going to fix it. And all I had to do was make the pads these. Because now they kind of sound like $550 headphones. Kind of sound like $550 headphones. Especially if you're, if you're aiming to take out like an Abyss Diana sort of level where it's just crammed full of detail, but it needs to be warmed up. It needed to be just, just light, lighten it up a little bit. All right? You know, no one needs to do hard drugs. You need to do soft drugs, happy drugs, party drugs. And while these are not like party, the most fun I've ever listened to headphones, they are fucking certainly capable. Charger. They don't have, if you want, all right, here's, here's the way I'm going to lay this down for you right now. Because the question is between these two, between the Moondrop Venus and the Thyodia Wraith. These are more fun. These have the more soundstage, more low end. These present detail better. They just, they're, they're better at this job. And I think that's just, the, it, it, that's what these companies are. Fi Audio is known for their like very m more accurate, their squeeze, the Legacy 5 is a, what's the highest ones? When we had the Excaliburs and things, those were like, here's the detail here. Listen, I'm the best. And Moondrop has always been like variations, illuminations. They've been these big, wide, bombastic sounding things, and they've literally turned them both into headphones. They're expensive. I mean, but if you think about it, I, I could tell you to spend $700 on a little tiny IM, and you guys are like, yes. But as soon as I tell you to spend $600, which is less, on this giant mass of metal that has to go over your head with pads and everything else, you're like, that's too expensive, Zios. So it's, it's weird. If you're looking for big, bombastic fun, you get the Venus. If you want to focus on your music listening experience, and I should, I should probably talk about these pads for a second too, because these were better than those, but man, are they a little bit too revealing when you close them in? It's just a lot, it's a lot. You hope you're prepared for a lot if you're gonna put these sons of bitches on. A lot of sound, a lot of detail, and it's gonna get to you after like 25, 30 minutes. With the open pads, with the soft pads, these actually become a semi-pleasurable listening experience. I feel like they're almost designed, they're not designed for mixing, mastering, and monitoring. I don't want to push them, suck their dick that hard. But man, they just they just step it in enough to be like, hey, take me seriously. Hey, if HG600s were planar, is this what it would sound like? Kinda. It's That's, that's a weird statement I just made because... I don't know if I could support that with any claims, but that's the sort of feel I'm getting. I'm getting this like, we wanna be everyone's favorite headphone. We wanna have all the detail, and we wanna have the clarity, we wanna have the imaging. Imaging is spectacular on these. Not as much fun, like HG600s, no one's gonna tell you HG600s are the most fucking fun you could have. They're not, but people fucking love them. They love them mostly because you put them on a tube. Planars don't work so well on a tube. I don't have the TA-22 up here. I need to go whip that back out. 
It's actually being used as ballast right now. I'm trying to straighten out the uh, Grove Mate stand. But um, yeah, I, I feel like this is this is gonna be a headphone that someone's gonna get and they're gonna fall in love. This is you could judge every other headphone off of this. All right, because no one could afford Diana's. There they are up there. Look, they're four thousand five hundred dollars. Right, no one, no one could afford Diana's. And if you have Diana's, what the fuck are you doing on this channel? But you could afford these. And if you got these, and these were like your top end headphone, they'd live there forever, and you would judge everything against them. That's what the HG six hundreds did. The HG six hundreds became the benchmark. You drew a line in the sand. Are they the widest sound stage? Hell no. Are they the best imaging? They're real good, but it's not the focus. Do they have a lot of bass? Not really. That was HG600s. They were mediocre, but they drew this perfect mediocre line that was so much fun. I was going to say so much fun, but I'm going to have to stop myself. That was so enjoyable to listen to. There's a big difference between fun and enjoyable. All right? You go to a party and you have fun. You got stories. You go to a party and it was enjoyable you forget about it. These are more of an enjoyable listening session. You're going to go through all your music and it's going to sound better than anything you've had less than this. But once you've heard these and you put those on, it's like, oh my God, I'm having fucking fun. So these are still, even with the pad swap, I could tell that, that Thy Audio was going for a serious headphone. That's the camp they went into. They spent no less than a million, billion, trillion dollars on just making these feel and look the part of a serious headphone and then they tuned them poorly at first with the pads and then swapped it out to like i mean if you're putting velcro pads on there odds are you should be have an easy interchangeable pad system i don't even know if you can buy hopefully it comes with these but i don't even know if these are going to be an available thing they may have just sent them to me like look are they on this too hold on Oh, God, that Velcro is real strong. Yeah, look, we've got the Velcro around it, and then there's a fucking rubber gasket. There's a rubberized gasket seal to make sure it stays. Like who? That's attention to detail. They want you to take these and put them on your headphone and press them down and have a perfect seal. They're perf I feel like Thyodio are perfectionists, and the Venus is more like the fucking tailgating crowd of the IMs because everything Moondrop makes is a goddamn laugh riot even though they're expensive but and everything Thyodio makes feels like they're trying so hard to be the best at something and they both reflect that so I'm going to put these back on my head and we're going to turn up the earmen a little bit girls last tour fucking fantastic what is Gilla Johnny oh Johnny. I don't know what this is, but my God, the imaging is just, I could hear the space I'm in. Yeah, th this is for if I like put on the doors. If you don't assign any keys, by the way, on FUBAR, a little, little, I might do a FUBAR update video on the second channel. Check out my second channel, by the way, where I do things like FUBAR update videos. If you don't assign anything to like letters, when you type, it just goes to that thing. So that's why all my controls have an alt modifier. So it's alt space to pause. And then E and W are next track, last track. Then Q and A are volume up and down. Then S and D are shuffle and default. And I think R is random track. As long as I have an alt modifier. So you can just type in doors and it goes there. This is a terrible one. Give me, give me the. Uh... Yeah, these are softer, wider, bigger, less serious. This is what you, you listen to the doors. You listen to the doors on the Venus, and you listen to Stravinsky's Fifty Third, the Brooklyn Choir, on these. These are these are the one, these are the ones if you were gonna test if you were gonna show off an amplifier, take the high audios. And you take those to show off your music. How's that? That sound like a good thing? What do you think, Cat Girl? Are you good with that? I'm good with that. Yeah, I was gonna I was kinda disappointed in these for the longest time. And even when the pads showed up, 
I was like, well, they're not as big and wide and fun, but these exist. So if you're going to be competing, I, I like it when they're not the same. If they were the same, this would be boring. I have to argue the fact that these are for somebody, somebody who wants slightly more professional sound. That's the only way I could put it. I'm a, I want to lay naked, covered in a fucking bathtub full of jello, listening to things while there's candles burning and there's like three TVs playing all my favorite Futurama episodes simultaneously. That's my perfect day. My perfect Sunday. Um, that's these. And these are more like you're sitting, you're in your, you're in your, in your chair and you've got no phone and you're just staring out a window watching a bird build a nest and you're just hammering through that new album in exactly specific ordered. That's these. I like this. It's a good review. I, I, I had to restart it because I literally couldn't say the word Moondrop of Venus. By the way, try saying red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather a bunch of times. It helps with mumbly mouth. I did that a shit ton before this review started. Anyway, like I said, please consider supporting this channel on Patreon and Subscribestar. I try to make the benefits better and better every year. And I don't know where we're going in 2023 because now we have, uh, you see reviews early as much as I can make them earlier because I am doing every other day releases on this channel and I'm doing every other day releases on the I am channel when possible. So that means out of 30 days, I'm putting out 30 videos plus second channel videos. Plus I do live streams on Wednesdays and Sundays. And if it's, if I haven't reached my goal at 250 subscribers on Twitch, I will be doing a 24 hour live stream. No idea how that's going to go down because I want to go sleep a lot. So check out Twitch. Um, Patreon, again, see reviews early, yard sales first to the 10th of every month. I will ship internationally anywhere as long as you're willing to pay half the shipping. Uh, sound demos are now completely privatized. So if you want to hear the sound demos, shit, did I record the sound demo for these? I think I did. Sound demos for all the headphones and speakers are private so that I can use a much more free playlist and much more freely dressed anime girls. So check that out for $5 a month. The $10 a month uh, benefits gives you a private behind the scenes Telegram chat where you could ask me questions directly in that chat. Just at Zeos and I will answer you uh, either by text or with my voice. If you have something private to message me like, hey, I have a disability, this or that, my leg just, it's so big and I can't fit it into the subwoofer. And I'll be like, all right, just PM me this. Um, so there's that. And if you're in that chat uh, for $10 a month or greater, you can also get into the Lifetime Swap Meet channel where you can buy, sell, and trade gear. So once you're in the $10 chat, you're in the Swap Meet forever. And I'd appreciate if you stayed in the, in the $10 chat. It's, it's getting, it's not lonely in there, but man, the fresh blood is so cool when they show up and like, hey, what's this all about? And we just, we just hammer them. We hammer them. Um, so yeah, and the Hi-Fi Guides, and again, thank you to the sponsor. Whatever is in that sponsored link down there, please check them out. So uh, a lot of times I think Lin Soul is down there, but we could have Taconi, we could have uh, pretzel makers, we could have literally a picture of myself naked in a top bathtub full of jello watching Futurama on three televisions. Anything's possible once you can mess with the links in it. But you know, I'm good, you're good, she's in the wallpaper hoard. And uh, I fucking, I like these. I'm gonna sell the second pair. And I'll hold on to these. And I'd probably prefer to, you know, bathtub nudity stuff with that.